Hello, parents and community members. I'm Todd Tim. I'm the district administrator of the Hortonville Area School District. I wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you and your children back to school for the 2018-2019 academic year, as well as share some district happenings from the summer, from the 2017-18 academic year, some celebrations there, and some things we're keeping our eye on as we move into the future at the Hortonville Area School District. I'd like to introduce our community and parents to new administrators and school leaders in the district. Mrs. Tanya Lang will be moving from her associate principal position from last year to the principal position at Hortonville Elementary School. We congratulate Mrs. Lang. Mrs. Luft is the new principal at FWA and HMS. Mrs. Luft was the principal at Sabish Middle School in the Fond du Lac Area School District. We're excited about adding her expertise to our district administrative team. Please welcome Mr. Deli, the new associate principal at FWA, HMS, and HES, as well as the district's 4K coordinator. Mr. Deli was the associate principal at Sabish and Fond du Lac. Welcome to our new building leaders. We want our community and parents to know that at the Hortonville Area School District, our professional learning is essential to identifying research-backed best practice to facilitate learning with adults and children in the school district. This year we had teams, or this summer we had teams at the first conference in Brookfield, the PLC Institute in Madison, the ISTE conference. We had approximately 100 staff members attend the Lives in the Balance training in Appleton, and we continue to enhance our medical response and will continue to do that during the 18-19 academic year with our medical emergency response teams being trained in Stop the Bleed training. The Hortonville Area School District is proud to partner with Jenny Donahue this year to hear from her and read the research on the power of collective efficacy. Individual efficacy is the individual's belief that a child can and will learn. Collective efficacy is the group or team's belief that all children can and will learn. District personnel have continued to work on feedback, assessment, and grading during the 17-18 academic year and will continue to work on that in the 2018-2019 academic year because of the research stating that specific feedback can enhance learning for students. Grading expert Tom Schimmer will continue to facilitate our work on assessment and feedback this year. GMS, FWA, and HMS will have the opportunity that our elementary teams had last year in training and feedback sessions with Dr. Ross Green's team at Lives in the Balance. Dr. Green is the author of Lost at School. I would highly encourage parents or community members to look up that, that title, Lost at School, and take a look at that book. It is a, it's an easy read. Dr. Tina Bryson will work with staff and parents on the Yes Brain and building resiliency skills within our children. So our professional learning for the 2018-2019 year um, is around behaviors, is around resiliency, and is around assessment and feedback on the academic side. Polar Bear Academy, I'm not sure if our community realizes that we have teachers throughout the month of August that are taking content courses um, as students, and then we have teachers teaching content courses in a blended or online format, and we have 97 teachers that are taking classes with us throughout the month of August to enhance their skills as children come back to school in September. Very proud of, of the teachers that are taking the time to instruct on, on different content courses throughout the summer, and even more proud of, of our teachers that are um, coming in as students to learn more and more before our children come back to school. The school district continues to partner with NAMI of the Fox Valley, Samaritan Counseling, and Catalpa Health. Did you know as a parent or community member that we offered mental health screening for the first time to every student K-12 last year? Our children and, a parent and parent ascent numbers of people taking that screen are exemplary when compared to other school districts throughout the state. The screen checks for anxiety, AODA, depression, and suicidal ideation. Did you know we ran middle school and high school campaigns for all students at a tier one level with learning targets on resiliency breaking mental illness stigmas, and trusted adults and kindness. We have mental health therapists in each of our buildings and a weekly student support group that runs off campus. We continue to offer and train new employees on youth mental health first aid, question persuade, refer, 
and Youth, Youth Mental Health 101. If you have questions about any of these programs, please talk to your school counselor or building principal. All of these programs develop into our E3 um, program here at the Hortonville Area School District, and there'll be a separate link in this Skylert message where you can learn more from our E3 partners about that specific program. I asked each area or school to provide two celebrations from the past academic year to share with our, our staff and share with our parents and, and community. Hortonville Middle School and FWA has been a leader in, in safety progressions in the district. Um, last year they had a medical emergency response team certified. They um, ran a relocation and reunification drill for students and staff, so students and staff felt prepared if there was an emergency that occurred. FWA held five presentation evenings last academic year and presented seven habits of healthy, effective people to fourth grade students in the district. And FWA's inaugural group of sixth graders graduated from Hortonville High School this year. Greenville Middle School reported that 77.2% of all students were above the 50th percentile in STAR math in the spring and that 71% of the student body did not receive a major referral. So GMS um, sharing an academic celebration with their, their math data and a behavioral celebration uh, students and their positive behaviors at Greenville Middle School. Greenville Elementary School had a team of 10 teachers that were trained by Dr. Ross Green in the book I had mentioned earlier, Lost at School, which really is a book about um, children missing skills when it comes to behaviors and looking at behavior the same way we would look at reading, um, if there's a loss in skill, math, if there's a loss in skill, and how do we intervene and teach when there's a gap in a behavioral skill. Um, so Greenville Elementary School went through a process with a team of 10 teachers that were trained in Dr. Ross Green's model with behaviors. GES also reported a reduction of seclusion and restraint incidences by 67% from the 16-17 academic year to the 17-18 academic year. Um, we feel that, that that data point enhances um, what we're learning about social emotional learning at GES. Hortonville Elementary School also had a team of 10 teachers that were trained in the CPS model. HES continued to work on their library project in a phase two piece of the, the library work in partnership with the, the parent teacher um, team at HES. And HES also reported that District 4K, there will be an additional site on campus for 4K and EC in Greenville in the 18-19 years so kids can attend their neighborhood schools. North Greenville's data and literacy indicates 90% of students met or exceeded expected reading levels. North Greenville participated in a project about a picture book full of positive affirmations and making the world a better place. The book was featured in classrooms and the outside book path at NGES. NGES also participated in a math collaborative planning process that the math team at NGES over, oversaw during the 17-18 year. Hortonville High School reported a 99.6% graduation rate, which is an exemplary graduation rate, that 471 advanced placement exams were taken in the spring. That continues to increase from year to year. And they also added a, a district recognition that our national community recognition for support of music education came through again this year. In fact, it, it seems that that recognition on this slide um, is an annual recognition, but not something we should take for granted. Governor Walker sent communication of this recognition this year for community support for music education to HASD. Congrats to our music education team and thank you to our supportive community for their support of the arts and music. We had students competing nationally um, and on state levels in clubs, in the arts, in music, and business education. There was a two-time state champion in wrestling and soon-to-be Badger Eric Barnett. Donation support through um, two fundraising, district fundraising groups that were um, team members made up from community leaders and district personnel um, and the larger Fox Valley, the support for the outdoor stadium project, the donation support has been overwhelming. Thank you to all who have been involved in this continued process. Excited for our students to take advantage of that facility. Building safety teams met in July to receive an update on federal 
emergency response training, NIM safety training, as well as conduct tabletop exercises on incidences like active shooters, gas leaks, and other potential incidents that may arise during a school year. We had numerous first responders attend um, and give us feedback during these tabletop exercises and we appreciate the time of first responders from Outagamie County and the village of Hortonville who participated in this process. I do want to thank our IT director who also assists with the, the safety team, Scott Colantonio, for leading the grant writing team for the Department of Justice Safety Grant. The, the district received a $122,000 safety grant um, from the Department of Justice and we're continuing to advocate for additional safety funds to enhance our, our physical safety, our camera systems um, throughout the district. But we also appreciate, if you think back to four and five years ago, the community support for um, safety updates in the district. We, we feel like we were advanced um, in some of these procedures and some of the, the physical pieces of our building, but this grant um, will allow us to take another step um, to ensure our, our children and staff are safe. We also know that each of us has a role in the safety and well-being of our young people. That a child feeling connected to a trusted adult at school is essential to learning. So we appreciate our safety team. We appreciate all of our staff members that are developing relationships, meaningful relationships with our students every day. And as many of you know, Mr. Colasso, um, safety director and AD has submitted his retirement resignation effective in June. Um, we'll, we'll start that replacement process in February or March of this academic year. Just wanna congratulate and thank Andy for his support of activities and safety in the district. We appreciate the work of our facilities personnel, ensuring projects are completed and our buildings and grounds are safe and conducive to learning. Um, HVAC work was done at GES. Repair projects and outdoor facility work has been excellent. Our transportation department continues to be a leader in safety training in the state. Camera upgrades work with Outagamie first responders. Safety summit tabletop participation and facility partnership with Fox Valley Technical College ensures our drivers are well trained and students are safe coming to school and leaving for home each day. In fact, we believe a child is extremely safe on our buses to and from school each day. In our special education area, the social, we have a social emotional learning team that's developed a set of core commitments as we continue to get, guide behavioral work throughout the district. I have PBIS listed there, that's positive behavior interventions and support. So our SEL team continues to work on um, learning targets and development of curriculum for social emotional learning in our district. Behavioral support for students continues to improve. We've seen declining data in the use of seclusion and restraint. Seclusion and restraint can be used um, to protect a child or protect others, um, but we know in best practice in SEL, um, if we can pre prevent those incidences from occurring or respond a certain way, will lessen the trauma on all students. More students are being served in the general education environment, which has increased academic achievement significantly in several of our buildings for students on IEPs, individualized education plans and special education. I'd like to thank our IT team. They prepared and supported teachers for the first year of teachers having mobile devices so teachers could provide on-time feedback to your children academically and behaviorally. They facilitated a new website selection process. You will see a new website in our, our district to enhance our communication with our community and parents. They've enhanced online collaboration platforms so our teachers can use technology to collaborate um, and not have that need to travel or be face-to-face -face in each collaboration session. The research and development of professional development management system so we can track the professional development that we're offering in the district and who's taking advantage of that PD. The development of a help desk ticketing system so our end users, our teachers, or other staff members who are using technology can get um, efficient response time and two very, what I would consider very large projects that the IT team has been involved with when it, when it comes to the technology needs and our safety grant and um, a different type of professional development in August with our Summer Polar Bear Academy work. The administrative team during the 17-18 academic year worked with CESA 6 CEO Ted Knightsky on a shift from strategic planning in a one-year process to a continuous improvement model. 
sure some of you have probably read the popular book, Good to Great by Jim Collins or Mindset by Dr. Carol Dweck. The administrative team last year worked through processes that are popular from both of these researchers and authors on our mindset and assisting in moving successful organizations forward. Mr. Knightsky also worked for a couple of hours in July with the leadership teams from each building. There will be more information to our community in the near future about key performance indicators in a continuous improvement model in learning and academics, engagement and communications, safe and orderly schools, and effective and efficient operations. Our enrollment continues to increase in the school district. We know that subdivision growth is occurring by the YMCA and Lions Park in Greenville, as well as a multifamily construction in Hortonville and some growth in some of our other municipalities. We're excited about the growth in the Hortonville Area School District and look forward to talking about this growth with our parents and community in the future. This slide shows our mill rate per thousand dollars of property value in the school district. In 2016, our mill rate was $9.26 per thousand, and in 2017 was $8.42 per thousand. So this led to a property tax decrease from the school portion of your property taxes from 2016 to 2017. The next slide shows our district property values. Part of the reason for the mill rate reduction the last couple of fiscal years is the growth in property value in the school district. So here you can see a snapshot of property value growth in the entire district from 1994 to 2017. In looking forward to the future, the state of Wisconsin has changed teacher licensure laws. Um, teachers in most cases with three years of experience now receive lifetime licensure without additional professional learning or credits. So it's essential that we continue to provide high quality professional learning and professional development to ensure our professionals and students continue to grow in the district. Our Board of Education has approved a population study with information back to the district from the study in December or January of this academic year. This comprehensive study will allow us to see neighborhood and individual school growth projections through 2035 to aid in the future of our facilities planning process. We continue to study action steps on retainment and recruitment of high quality staff members in multiple areas. I'm convinced now more than ever that it takes everybody inside the school district to enhance learning for every individual child and our teachers and professionals in the district obviously are a, huge, are a huge part of that learning. We have a lot to celebrate at the Hortonville Area School District with our academic data, support of youth mental health, and exceptional staff. As stated earlier, we are shifting our strategic planning process to a continuous improvement mindset based on some of the work from Jim Collins and moving organizations from good to great. We are excited to engage stakeholders in this process during the 18-19 academic year and into the future.